if you are interested in learning how the moon will affect you, then listen up. Rebel Leah Rose, you're the one that posed me this question that you have a Pisces sun, Libra moon, and a Leah rising, and how will that affect you? I can't look at your chart because you only gave me your big three. Therefore, I could only guesstimate how the chart will affect you. You can see here, I can't point. But but either way, so I'll go over how to show you how to look at how it affects you. So you're going to go to astroseek.com. You're going to go here where you see the moon. I'm trying to highlight that there. You're going to click on that. You're going to scroll down a little bit. Then you're going to see the current moon phase. And you're going to see there it says full moon impact on uh, my natal chart. You're going to click on that. But you could already see that the Leo moon and sextile Libra. So that could already give you an indication of how the moon will affect you. You're going to click on that. It's going to take you to, first of all, you have to have an account with them. So you're going to click on it. It's going to take you, I did it twice so that way I didn't lose. So it's going to take you to your information and then just go down and you're going to see transit or impact chart. Um, click on here the transit that's what i clicked on and you can see how you can already see that your my sun is conjunct i'm sorry oppose the moon you can see here what's going on this is my personal I and mean, this is how the moon is currently affecting my chart so you can see the moon is transiting over my natal sun which is opposite i can't see down here because my screen thing covers it but it's opposite where the sun currently is which of course the sun right sun when you leo is the opposite of aquarius so aquarius is opposite my leo natally here goes my sun essentially i can't 100 percent answer your question how is this particular moon affecting you because i can't see your natal chart but you could utilize astro seek and you could see look at it for yourself and see what's going on in your chart. So you can see here, let me see, I can't really point and show you. But you can see here the sun, I mean, sorry, the moon is sextile. And then also in my other chart, you can see that the, my thing was here in the ninth house, my transit was up here. You can see still that the moon is, cause it's all the chart is remained the same. The moon was here in my ninth house and then Libra was over here in the seventh house but even on this chart you can see the moon is sextile libra right there this chart doesn't show which house the moon is currently in but it's in the third house um, but a sextile is is similar to a triene in the sense that it's not a problematic aspect but it's considered an opportunity aspect so it's it's in between a triene and a square i would say it's not coming as easily as a uh, trying but it's also not coming in as hard as a square a sex cell is different um but compatible elements so here you have fire the moon in leo fire and libra is an air sign so fire and air does is compatible but what's not compatible is the leo is fixed and libra is a cardinal so that's where you kind of get you have to put a little bit of effort into this aspect each full moon is going to be different but a full moon in general how do you say it's it's like a wave of energy and i would say when it comes to the full moon you're at the peak of the energy so sometimes it could be unstable and that's where we get the word lunatic from during the full moons i try to take some precautions or even after I'm Aries moon, so during a full moon, I usually, one particular full moon, I almost cut my hand off. So I think about what your, the, your moon sign represents and just keep that in mind that more than likely those are the issues that you're going to face during a full moon. But I think when your moon is in the full moon, like your moon, Libra moon, you have a Libra moon. So when the Libra is in its full moon or when the moon is in Libra full moon, that's when I would think that you would have more issues. 
And these are some of the issues that you may come across, which is feeling irritable. You may experience increased emotions, which makes you feel uncomfortable. So your mood may be fluctuating and you might be indecisive. You might withdraw to balance out yourself. Uh, relationships might become more challenging for you during the full moons. You might become irritable and con have conflicts. And Libras are typically, typically agreeable and peaceful, but during the full moon, sometimes if you haven't said your peace with people sometimes this is the time that you start you know saying saying things that you feel like which comes as a shock to most people but on the positive side you could focus your energy on um, creativity and artistic expressions during the full moon you could paint you could draw that would be good during the full moon and also listening to music because it decreases stress and also increases positive feelings it's also a good time to spend time with your partner your parents or your children and that will help to comfort you especially when you're restless this full moon i would say is not going to affect you negatively because it's a fire and air quality you might have some issues maybe doing the work that you want to do or something like that but i can't 100 percent see a chart so you could go like i showed before to astro seek and go to the moon tab and then scroll down and look at how the moon will affect you personally and it also has its own descriptors so you can read those and get an idea anyways thanks for commenting and i will definitely follow you back and for anyone else you could drop a comment and let me know if you need some help in seeing how the moon will affect you or anything in your chart and also make sure you like and follow for more ciao